Looks like we have most everybody here. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Up. Hey everybody. I'm Rick Bowler, president of Tesla Owners Club of North Texas. Welcome to the first urban supercharger in Texas. What a surprise this was. But here we are. So, how many of you weren't at South Lake? Worked. So you, okay, we're not at South Lake. This is all part of the test. But, okay, guys. We had a great event in South Lake. Uh, mayor and one of the city council members was there. Most of the council of governments were there. Um, here we're on our own, which uh, means that we get to have more fun. So uh, a couple of housekeeping things. Um, after we're done here, everybody is on their own for lunch. I suggest you group up. There are a bunch of restaurants right here on uh, Legacy. Um, I think most of you know about urban superchargers. And really, these are the ones designed for people who can't um, charge at home. So they're living in a condo or an apartment. And these are slower and more compact. But still, though, they're pretty fast. These are 75 um, kilowatts as opposed to 120, which is what the South Lake one is. For most of us, or at least in my tests, which aren't extensive, they only amounts to like 10 minutes longer to charge. Thomas is telling me that I'm right on so, um, But it's cool. This property here is um, managed by RPAI, the same company uh, which manages South Lake Town Square. And there's something else about RPAI installations, which is very rare, and I'm standing in front of it. Yeah. But that would be the trash can. Yeah. And actually, I didn't do this in South Lake partially because I forgot. This is pretty cool. We could. Oh, here we go. Yes. Now, Scott wouldn't have done this, but I can tell you that there are some Tesla owners that are not here today who would have left it by their car, which disgusts me, but you don't have to worry about that now. Um, yep, probably. Fewer than 5% of superchargers actually have trash near the supercharger itself. So I think that's cool that RPI has considered that. And I think if you come back to South Lake next month, you'll find that RPI has something that maybe only five superchargers in the country have. But you'll have to come back to South Lake to see it. That's all I'm going to say. You gotta come back. We gotta have a tease, you know. That's why we have a commercial break coming up, and we're gonna tease it. All right. So Plano has been a huge uh, supporter of solar energy and Tesla. Um, although they couldn't be here to join us today, Plano is one of the other cities in North Texas that has a huge concentration of electric vehicles on a per capita basis. Dominantly uh, Teslas. They're the ones that fought to get the Tesla Gallery in at Legacy Lust. This was a straightforward approval process for them, and they're very proud to have it. So we're really um, pleased that the city of Plano uh, is supporting us as Tesla owners and, and Tesla as the company. Not to mention the uh, service center a couple of blocks down the road. Woo! So thank you, city of Plano. You know, that's really all I had to say about this one. Uh, somebody. You're welcome. So we actually did bring a ribbon because. Okay. Anybody else want to cut it with me? Love you, Ryan. Tristan. Next generation. Next generation. Woo! Come on this side. And we're gonna have a count of three. Someone will count for three to for us, and then you get to cut it. Okay. All right. One, One two, two, three. three. Woo! All right. Thanks again to our volunteers. I hope the uh, drive went okay for all of you. I think we got some great video from it. Our trip to Gallows is going to be fun. Um, lunch. Be back here by 1230, and we'll begin our route. If you are new here, or you weren't in South Lake, we need you to sign our waiver. Uh, which we'll get to you before we leave. Okay, Joe's got it right here. And 
with that's it. We'll see y'all in a few. Thank okay. you.